Hi, my name is Eduardo Ox and this is another very short video that I'm recording for the workshop that is going to happen in a few hours. The title of this video is Find Extra File Links. Uh, in this video I'm going to suppose that people have uh, followed all the instructions and, and exercises and ideas in these uh, sections of the main tutorial here, this one and this one and also that they've, they've understood what uh, find extra file links does by reading this section here and by the way the key that's associated to extra find extra file links is this one meta h meta e e for extra the diagram of the exercise is going to be this one uh, where d is a direct buffer Remember that the red buffer is something like this. Uh, <coughs> and uh, here I say do this twice, but let me first explain what people have to do in the first time. Uh, <coughs> in the first time, uh, we have to open this thing here in a direct buffer. Note that uh, this link opens a subdirectory of the of MX and it finds a certain subdirectory and uh, a file in that subdirectory so that link goes to that directory called play uh, and locates this the first occurrence of this string there and we are going to create links to that file but let me follow the instructions here the instructions say that we start in a situation in which we only have this buffer here, find EV exercises intro. Then we go to the direct buffer. This thing takes us to the red. Uh, <coughs> and then we are going to type meta h meta e to go to a buffer with the list piper links. And then this thing here to show the, our nodes at the right. And I'm going to use the same thing as same trick as always, which is then I'm going to copy this thing to my notes. That's it. Let me go back. And <clears throat> so I'll have to reproduce all this all these first comments here by uh, by memory until we get it to this situation here in which our notes appear. Uh, <clears throat> so uh -huh. I have to follow this thing. And then type meta h meta e, and then type meta 21j, and here are the notes. So I have a buffer with the list pipe links here at the left, generated by find extra file links, and my notes buffer here at the right. And this thing here explains very briefly that we have to run uh, meta w. Uh, it doesn't say what is the selected region, but meta w co uh, copies the selected region to the top of the kill ring, and control y copies the contents of the top of the top of the kill ring to the current buffer. So these instructions are to copy something from the left to the right, and the novelty here is well, there are several. First one is that I want to create a short link. Uh, I want to create a way to create short links to this the files in this directory. So I'm going to use a string here, ePlay for Emacs play. I'm going to execute this line again. Uh, the tutorial has explained what this means. And now I'm going to cherry pick the, the lines that I that I think that are important. And the lines that I want are this one. Uh, let me see. Okay, all oh, these ones. No, these ones. And now I have to copy them to my notes. And note that uh, if I just execute this expression here, it yields an error because find a play file has not been defined. But if I run this expression here, this thing becomes defined. Uh, 
No, and I'm not going to, to explain. No, I'm going to explain very briefly what, what this thing does. If we add a find dash to the, be, the beginning of this code CD and we execute this, we see the code that the code CD would execute. But let's go back. Uh, <coughs> so now we have to do something here to go back to our notes. Sorry, to go back to the, to the exercises. And let's reread the instructions. The instructions say that in the first time, well, we should create a list hyperlinks pointing to this directory and to this file. And let's see here. Uh, here we have a link that points to that directory. Here we have two links that point to that file in that directory. This one opens the directory and searches for the first occurrence of, that, of this string. And the second one opens that file. And these uh, links here uh, are short hyperlinks to that directory. And I'm going to modify this one here. I oh, know I'm going to do this. I'm going to open this directory again. Uh, open this. And now I'm going to type meta h meta h. And choose this thing here and copy it to my notes. But I'm not going to explain exactly what this means. And people will have to figure out. Uh, so let's go back to the instructions, the exercises. The instruction of the exercise say that in the second time, we should create a list of links to, the, to a directory and a file that we find interesting. Uh, let me choose something in my directory of things that are co compiled from the source code. Uh, say uh, Agda here. No, this one is too weird. Uh, no, yeah, Agda categories here. Then source categories uh, commoned.agda. And I want to link to this file here. Sorry for the weirdness. Uh, <coughs> so here I have to type. Sorry. Here I'm in the red mode. And I want links to this file here. And the trick is that I, I have to type meta h meta e to get to this temporary buffer with the extra file links and this is the part that that I want to copy to my notes but I want to choose a, a, a shorthand for this directory and let me choose agda cc for no agda c for agda categories uh, so I'll execute this again the buffer is going to be regenerated with this uh, C's between curly braces being replaced by something else. And now I'm going to copy this thing to my notes. Here are my notes. And here are all the links that I want, that I have created right now. I link to the to this file in this directory. A link that opens that file. A link to the directory, and this thing here that creates an abbreviation to that directory that lets me create short links to files and files in that directory, and this link here to to <coughs> to this. Ah, and by the way, that let me do something that I'm not going to explain in all detail. People will have to uh, think about it. I'm going to open this and now type meta h meta h and now I'm going to use this link that uses the short name and I'll copy it to my notes. So this link opens this file. This is a short link to a file in a certain directory. And that's it. Now the instructions say that I need to type Ctrl X1 and then a series of meta shift keys. 
a series of meta shift case until we get to the buffer read exercises, which is this one. So that's it.